In statistics, the generalized linear model is a flexible generalization of ordinary linear regression that allows for response variables that have ARA distribution models other than a normal distribution. The GLM generalizes linear regression by allowing the linear model to be related to the response variable via a link function and by allowing the magnitude of the variance of each measurement to be a function of its predicted value. Generalized linear models were formulated by John Nelder and Robert Wedderburn as a way of unifying various other statistical models, including linear regression, logistic regression and Poisson regression. They proposed an iteratively reweighted least squares method for maximum likelihood estimation of the model parameters. Maximum likelihood estimation remains popular and is the default method on many statistical computing packages. Other approaches, including Bayesian approaches and least squares fits to variance stabilized responses, have been developed. Intuition. Ordinary linear regression predicts the expected value of a given unknown quantity as a linear combination of a set of observed values. This implies that a constant change in a predictor leads to a constant change in the response variable. This is appropriate when the response variable has a normal distribution. However, these assumptions are inappropriate for some types of response variables. For example, in cases where the response variable is expected to be always positive and varying over a wide range, constant input changes lead to geometrically varying, rather than constantly varying, output changes. As an example, a prediction model might predict that 10 degree temperature decrease would lead to 1,000 fewer people visiting the beach is unlikely to generalize well over both small beaches and large beaches. The problem with this kind of prediction model would imply a temperature drop of 10 degrees would lead to 1,000 fewer people visiting the beach. A beach whose expected attendance was 50 at a higher temperature would now be predicted to have the impossible attendance value of minus 950. Logically, a more realistic model would instead predict a constant rate of increased beach attendance. Such a model is termed an exponential response model. Similarly, a model that predicts a probability of making a yes, no choice is even less suitable as a linear response model, since probabilities are bounded on both ends. Imagine, for example, a model that predicts the likelihood of a given person going to the beach as a function of temperature. A reasonable model might predict, for example, that a change in 10 degrees makes a person two times more or less likely to go to the beach. But what does twice as likely mean in terms of a probability? It cannot literally mean to double the probability value. Rather, it is the odds that are doubling from 2 to 1 odds, to 4 to 1 odds, to 8 to 1 odds, etc. Such a model is a log odds model. Generalized linear models cover all these situations by allowing for response variables that have arbitrary distributions, and for an arbitrary function of the response variable to vary linearly with the predicted values. For example, the case above of predicted number of beach attendees would typically be modeled with a Poisson distribution in a log link, while the case of predicted probability of beach attendance would typically be modeled with a Bernoulli distribution in a log odds link function. Overview In a generalized linear model, each outcome of the dependent variables y is assumed to be generated from a particular distribution in the exponential family. A large range of probability distributions that includes the normal, binomial, Poisson and gamma distributions, among others. The mean, mu, of the distribution depends on the independent variables, x, through, where e is the expected value of y, x beta is the linear predictor, a linear combination of unknown parameters beta, g is the link function. In this framework, the variance is typically a function, v, of the mean. It is convenient if v follows from the exponential family distribution, but it may simply be that the variance is a function of the predicted value. The unknown parameters, beta, are typically estimated with maximum likelihood, maximum quasi-likelihood, or Bayesian techniques. 
model components. The GLM consists of three elements. 1. A probability distribution from the exponential family. 2. A linear predictor eta equals x beta. 3. A link function g such that e equals mu equals g minus 1. Probability distribution The over-dispersed exponential family of distributions is a generalization of the exponential family and exponential dispersion model of distributions and includes those probability distributions parameterized by m, whose density functions f can be expressed in the form called the dispersion parameter, typically is known and is usually related to the variance of the distribution, the functions, and are known. Many common distributions are in this family. For scalar m, this reduces to is related to the mean of the distribution. If is the identity function, then the distribution is said to be in canonical form. Note that any distribution can be converted to canonical form by rewriting as and then applying the transformation. It is always possible to convert in terms of the new parametrization. Even if is not a one-to-one -one function, see comments in the page on the exponential family. If, in addition, is the identity and is known, then is called the canonical parameter and is related to the mean through for scalar and this reduces to under this scenario, the variance of the distribution can be shown to be for scalar and this reduces to linear predictor. The linear predictor is the quantity which incorporates the information about the independent variables into the model. The symbol eta denotes a linear predictor. It is related to the expected value of the data through the link function. Eta is expressed as linear combinations of unknown parameters beta. The coefficients of the linear combination are represented as the matrix of independent variables x. Eta can thus be expressed as link function. The link function provides the relationship between the linear predictor and the mean of the distribution function. There are many commonly used link functions, and the choice can be somewhat arbitrary. It makes sense to try to match the domain of the link function to the range of the distribution function's mean. When using a distribution function with a canonical parameter, the canonical link function is the function that expresses in terms of, i.e., for the most common distributions, the mean is one of the parameters in the standard form of the distribution's density function, and then is the function as defined above that maps the density function into its canonical form. When using the canonical link function, which allows to be a sufficient statistic for following is a table of several exponential family distributions in common use and the data they are typically used for, along with the canonical link functions and their inverses. In the cases of the exponential and gamma distributions, the domain of the canonical link function is not the same as the permitted range of the mean. In particular, the linear predictor may be negative, which would give an impossible negative mean. When maximizing the likelihood, precautions must be taken to avoid this. An alternative is to use a non-canonical link function. Note also that in the case of the Bernoulli, binomial, categorical and multinomial distributions, the support of the distributions is not the same type of data as the parameter being predicted. In all of these cases, the predicted parameter is one or more probabilities, i.e., real numbers in the range. The resulting model is known as logistic regression. For the Bernoulli and binomial distributions, the parameter is a single probability, indicating the likelihood of occurrence of a single event. The Bernoulli still satisfies the basic condition of the generalized linear model in that, even though a single outcome will always be either 0 or 1, the expected value will nonetheless be a real value probability, i.e., the probability of occurrence of a yes outcome. Similarly, in a binomial distribution, the expected value is NP, i.e., the expected proportion of yes outcomes will be the probability to be predicted. For categorical and multinomial distributions, the parameter to be predicted is a k-vector of probabilities with the further restriction that all probabilities must add up to 1. Each probability indicates the likelihood of occurrence of one of the k possible values. 
for the multinomial distribution, and for the vector form of the categorical distribution. The expected values of the elements of the vector can be related to the predicted probabilities similarly to the binomial and Bernoulli distributions. Fitting maximum likelihood The maximum likelihood estimates can be found using an iteratively reweighted least squares algorithm using either a newton raphson method with updates of the form, whereas the observed information matrix and is the score function, or a Fisher's scoring method, whereas the Fisher information matrix. Note that if the canonical link function is used, then they are the same. Bayesian methods in general, the posterior distribution cannot be found in closed form and so must be approximated, usually using Laplace approximations or some type of Markov chain Monte Carlo method such as Gibbs sampling. Examples General linear models A possible point of confusion has to do with the distinction between generalized linear models and the general linear model. Two broad statistical models the general linear model may be viewed as a special case of the generalized linear model with identity link in responses normally distributed, as most exact results of interest are obtained only for the general linear model. The general linear model has undergone a somewhat longer historical development. Results for the generalized linear model with non-identity link are asymptotic. Linear regression A simple, very important example of a generalized linear model is linear regression. In linear regression, the use of the least squares estimator is justified by the Gauss-Markov theorem, which does not assume that the distribution is normal. From the perspective of generalized linear models, however, it is useful to suppose that the distribution function is the normal distribution with constant variance and the link function is the identity, which is the canonical link if the variance is known. For the normal distribution, the generalized linear model has a closed form expression for the maximum likelihood estimates, which is convenient. Most other GLMs lack closed form estimates. Binary data when the response data, y, are binary. The distribution function is generally chosen to be the Bernoulli distribution and the interpretation of mu i is then the probability, p, of y taking on the value 1. There are several popular link functions for binomial functions, the most typical is the canonical logger link. GLMs with this set up are logistic regression models. In addition, the inverse of any continuous cumulative distribution function can be used for the link since the CDF's range is the range of the binomial mean. The normal CDF is a popular choice and yields the probit model. Its link is the reason for the use of the probit model is that a constant scaling of the input variable to a normal CDF yields a function that is practically identical to the logit function. But probit models are more tractable in some situations than logit models. Complementary log log The complementary log log function log may also be used. This link function is asymmetric and will often produce different results from the probit and logit link functions. The clog-log model corresponds to applications where we observe either zero events or one or more, where the number of events is assumed to follow the Poisson distribution. The Poisson assumption means that, and we assume that log is a linear model. If P represents the proportion of observations with at least one event, its complement, and then, since mu must be positive, we can enforce that by throwing zero to negative infinity by taking the logarithm. This produces the clog-log transformation. The identity link is also sometimes used for binomial data to yield a linear probability model. However, the identity link can predict nonsense probabilities less than zero or greater than one. This can be avoided by using a transformation like clog-log, probit or logit. A primary merit of the identity link is that it can be estimated using linear math, and other standard link functions are approximately linear. Matching the identity link near p equals 0.5, the variance function for quasi-binomial data is 
where the dispersion parameter tau is exactly 1 for the binomial distribution. Indeed, the standard binomial likelihood emits tau. When it is present, the model is called quasi-binomial, and the modified likelihood is called a quasi-likelihood. Since it is not generally the likelihood corresponding to any real probability distribution, if tau exceeds 1, the model is said to exhibit over-dispersion. Multinomial regression The binomial case may be easily extended to allow for a multinomial distribution as the response. There are two ways in which this is usually done. Ordered response If the response variable is an ordinal measurement, then one may fit a model function of the form, where, for m greater than 2, different links g lead to proportional odds models or ordered probit models. Unordered response If the response variable is a nominal measurement, or the data do not satisfy the assumptions of an ordered model, one may fit a model of the following form, where, for m greater than 2, different links g lead to multinomial logot or multinomial probit models. These are more general than the ordered response models, and more parameters are estimated. Count data, another example of generalized linear models includes Poisson regression which models count data using the Poisson distribution. The link is typically the logarithm, the canonical link. The variance function is proportional to the mean where the dispersion parameter tau is typically fixed at exactly 1. When it is not, the resulting quasi-likelihood model is often described as Poisson with over-dispersion or quasi-Poisson. Extensions Correlated or clustered data The standard GLM assumes that the observations are uncorrelated. Extensions have been developed to allow for correlation between observations, as occurs for example in longitudinal studies and clustered designs. Generalized estimating equations allow for the correlation between observations without the use of an explicit probability model for the origin of the correlations, so there is no explicit likelihood. They are suitable when the random effects and the variances are not of inherent interest, as they allow for the correlation without explaining its origin. The focus is on estimating the average response over the population rather than the regression parameters that would enable prediction of the effect of changing one or more components of X on a given individual. Gs are usually used in conjunction with Huber-White standard errors. Generalized linear mixed models are an extension to GLMs that includes random effects in the linear predictor, giving an explicit probability model that explains the origin of the correlations. The resulting subject-specific parameter estimates are suitable when the focus is on estimating the effect of changing one or more components of X on a given individual. GLMMs are also referred to as multi-level models and as mixed model. In general, fitting GLMMs is more computationally complex and intensive than fitting Gs. Generalized additive models Generalized additive models are another extension to GLMs in which the linear predictor eta is not restricted to be linear. In the covariates expert is the sum of smoothing functions applied to the size. The smoothing functions fire estimated from the data. In general this requires a large number of data points and is computationally intensive. Confusion with general linear models the term generalized linear model, and especially its abbreviation GLM, can be confused with general linear model. John Nelder has expressed regret about this in a conversation with Stephen Sen. Sen, I must confess to having some confusion when I was a young statistician between general linear models and generalized linear models. Do you regret the terminology? Nelda. I think probably I do. I suspect we should have found some more fancy name for it that would have stuck and not been confused with the general linear model. Although general and generalized are not quite the same, I can see why it might have been better to have thought of something else.